We now show you how to install the panel version of the APNR system. This is made up of the dilution APNR panel, the pressure sphere unit and the stainless steel nozzle support. The first action is to find the best positioning for the components. The main component is the dilution panel. The second part is the pressure sphere unit. And the third and probably the most important component are the spray ramps. We now show you the component's positioning. We now install the demi water container and the pressure sphere unit. You can use a 1MC container. Here you can see a specific container. The distance you need to have between container and dilution panel is maximum 4 meters. While the distance between container and pressure sphere unit is approximately half meter. Please keep in mind that the pressure sphere unit must be installed under head of the liquid and to put a check valve not included between the two components. The management of the demi water arrival to the container is up to the customer. In this case, a standard float level was used. It is necessary to install the container, a minimum level float. Since the pressure sphere unit is connected in the inlet section, you now need to connect it in the outlet section. Therefore, existing the outlet of the pressure unit, let's go to the input of the dilution panel. We now see a short description of the dilution panel that Henkel supplies already mounted. Plug and play. This is the pressure regulator. This is the product input with its manual faucet. The stroke emitting liter counter. The flow meter. The multifunctional valves for the two dosing pumps. The static mixer the diluted product output with the regulation valve and finally a valve for the windrowal of the product in case you need to execute a manual analysis. We now show you those components that compose the electrical panel, the conductivity meter, laterally, that is needed to detect the outlet conductivity of the APNR, the selector of the pressure pump, the selector to decide what's going pump to be used with, Bonderite MNT 5001 or Bonderite MNT 5293. Here you can see the various alarms. The dosing pump alarm warns in case of malfunctioning of the dosing pump. The demi water container level alarm and the pressure group thermic alarm. This is the level float that is installed on the demi water container. In case the demi water is missing, it will protect the pressure pump of the sphere unit. The level alarm will light on and the flashing light also. Here you can see the dosing pump level sensor. When the product is missing, The alarm lights on and the flashing light also. The panel has two dozen pumps. Because according to the material to be worked, it is possible to select what kind of product to use. In this case, both dozen pumps use the same product from the same container. Because it is possible to set one pump on a specific concentration and the other one on a different concentration, according to the material that is worked in that moment. We now show you the installing of the two nozzle ram supports. We suggest to install them at the exit of the treatment tunnel, at least one meter in the tunnel and approximately 2 meters from the last ramp. 
in order to avoid the leakage of the mist that will for sure form. We now show you the basic working parameters, the compressed air setting and the water flow in the panel. We start adjusting the water flow, trying to set approximately 200 liters per hour. We now set the air pressure between 2 and 4 bar. The damming water conductivity in the inlet is very important and it must be absolutely below 10 microsiemens. Once you have obtained this concentration value, be careful to obtain 10 to 150 microsiemens as conductibility of the mixed product. We can now see the plant ready and working. It is crucial that the installation is done by professionals, electricians and plumbers.